Depression is a serious mental disorder that can interfere with your daily life. It can make it hard for you to carry out your daily activities and find pleasure in the activities you once enjoyed. Depression usually first occurs in early adulthood, but it's also common among older adults. Depression is especially common in people with other medical problems. Older adults may have more medical issues which can increase their risk of depression. Even though depression is common in seniors, it's not a normal part of getting older. Some older adults may not think they are depressed because sadness is not their major symptom. The symptoms of depression vary from person to person. In seniors, some of the most common symptoms include feeling sadness or emptiness, cranky, nervous or guilty for no reason, sudden lack of enjoyment in favorite pastimes, loss of concentration or memory, either insomnia or too much sleeping, eating too much or eating too little, suicidal thoughts and attempts, aches and pains, headaches, abdominal cramps, digestive issues. Experts don't know exactly what causes depression. Several factors may be involved, such as genetics, stress, and brain chemistry. Having a family member who has experienced depression puts you at a higher risk of developing depression. Stressful incidents such as death in the family, a challenging relationship, or problems at work can trigger depression. The concentration of certain chemicals in the brain may contribute to development of a depressive disorder in some people. Depression often occurs alongside other medical conditions in older adults. Depression can even worsen these conditions. Some medications for these medical issues can cause side effects that may affect your depression. Now you might be wondering how is depression diagnosed? Your doctor may run several types of tests and examinations if they suspect you are experiencing depression. Your doctor will perform a physical examination and ask you questions about your health. For some people, depression may be connected to an existing medical condition. Your doctor may order blood tests to measure different values in your blood to check for existing medical conditions that may be triggering your depression. Your doctor will ask you about your symptoms, thoughts, emotions, and daily habits. There are three types of depressive disorders. Major depressive disorders, persistent depressive disorder, bipolar disorder. Each type has its own diagnostic criteria. A major depressive disorder is characterized by severely depressed mood or loss of interest in daily activities that interferes with daily life for at least two weeks. Persistent depressive disorder is a depressed mood lasting for at least two years. Bipolar disorder is characterized by cycling mood changes from extreme highs to extreme lows. There are varying treatments for depression. Most often people are treated with a combination of medication and psychotherapy. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, share, like, and comment.